Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Blender 2.8. My name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new feature in Blender. So, take a guess. What looks new in this screen or different? I'll give you a hint. It's around here. That's right. You may have noticed that you only have hide options now. Where, well, where's my, where's my hide in render options? You know, a very useful and at times overused checkbox. I know I overuse it, that's for sure. But it's not there anymore. Where's it gone? Well, today I'm going to show you how to use the new system that is in place in Blender 2.8's most recent update. Objects now are not individually disabled or enabled for rendering. Instead, that job falls to collections. Now, if you aren't using collections, I highly suggest that you do so because they make your workflow so much more easy and intuitive. Unlike the old empties of 2.79, you can nest them within one another. So if I create a new empty, I can nest that within that one, and I can nest that within that one, and then you can have objects in within each one. But back onto the question of before, working with visibility. It's very important when, for example, meshes that we're using as guides, and we don't wanna render them. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do this. I'm going to make a very quick belt. So I'm just going to quickly speed through this part and then stop during any part that I feel is of worth to you. This is called non-destructive modeling and it's very useful as you can tell. So this is how I'm going to make my belt. But, but here's the clincher. If I'm to render this buckle, we should see that it renders everything. Now I could come down here and say, okay, I want to get rid of that and then render it. It's still there. See what I mean? What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a new collection. So new, and I'm going to call this bool tool, even though it's not, and I'm going to nest it in that collection. And I'm going to grab my cube that I've got hidden and I'm going to put it in here, drag and drop, very simple. Then I'm going to right click that collection, come down here to the drop down menu visibility, and then right in here we have disable in render, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now, when we render this buckle out, you should see that there's no more cube. I really like this feature. I think it's it may be less intuitive on first glance, but I feel that it is more feature rich and the potential is just far greater. But on the flip side, I also don't want to relearn, you know, my muscle memory. But it looks like I'm going to have to. But what do you guys think? What do you think of this change? Do you think it's welcome? Do you think it's good? Or do you like the old system better? I, for one, I've already told you, I think it's a good system. I think it works and it works in conjunction with all the other tools. And I hope that it helps you get back up to speed with Blender. But yeah, okay, not very fancy at all. <laughs> but there we have it, a quick belt, and I've shown you how to enable and disable visibility within the render using collections, which is how it's done now in Blender 2.8. I hope that this tutorial has been informative and fun, and I hope that you've learned something new. If you have, please be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment down below as to what you would like to see next. If you would like to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe and bell button to be notified of a video's release. Also, you can check out fowlsonfantasy.com forward slash tutorials for more tutorials on different subject matters such as ZBrush, World Machine, and a few musical ones as well. But there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. This is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off.